much to do on the lake. This is uh, this is number eight, and this is a real simple one. Uh, it takes about ten minutes to do all detail, and it's just a, a little a little card uh, with the use of color and a little bit of pen and ink on on top of it. So follow along here if you like, and uh, there's one done with a little bit more muted uh, colors. And it's just a hedgehog. And this would be number eight in the watercolor series, and this one would be uh, very much a beginner. And you can use uh, any kind of animal uh, that you can draw to, to do this one. And it's just uh, minimally painted. So as usual, uh, this is uh, not a card. This is a, a piece of... Uh, watercolor paper, paper, 140 pound that's uh, been cut down so this this would be just like a, a one-sided and as you can see it's probably I don't know uh, 5 by 7 something like that 6 by 9 so we're going to start with uh, putting in the eye the eye is done with just uh, some Payne's gray you, you see I left the pupil white up in the corner there and a lot of this uh, video is going to go uh, two times the speed so once I have his eye in I go ahead and, and put a nose up in there same concept and we're with the violet and I'll, I'll come over uh, lighter on those and this was done with uh, just blobs of color on the right hand side uh, showing the watercolor aspect but uh, I have done these also uh, with balloons over there on the right with each balloon being a different color and those are kind of fun too coming back in with a little bit more hair or uh, I guess it wouldn't be hair but hedgehogs have kind of like spines and uh, this is kind of impressionist and this is fun here I, I thought I was putting red on there and in actuality there's the orange and the it looked like I, I wasn't paying attention and I grabbed uh, orange so I came back over that with a little bit of red and I'm kind of using the side of the brush here and then coming back out on the tip as it goes to the finer portions and comes back a little bit of green and you can see that it's wet in there and I am kind of letting those touch a little bit so they'll run together I came back in with some uh, violet and now we're going to pull out some of what's wet and get some little fine hairs in there. You can see those colors in the back uh, behind the ear starting to merge together a little bit. This is on the table, it's tilted about 10 degrees and I don't, I do have the tape under it I think. So here's a trick. Here's a credit card that I cut up and I'm just going to drag it through and you'll notice that it pulls out some of these hairs. It also creates a line uh, in the paint where it comes back down uh, almost to white and people will use this to uh, pull out trees, pull out grass and it just kind of gives it a neat uh, neat color. So there's any credit card that uh, that you hate or use, always abuse one. You see I put the tape under the front of it to take that 10 degree tilt out. I want this uh, little wash I'm doing on the right here to stay there not run down the paper just yet and I'm dropping different colors in there I made it pretty wet and uh, it, you see how fast that red diffused and I put a drop in there and then I'm just dropping in oranges yellows blues greens and making a little ball of color and letting them run together as soon as these dry uh, I'll, I usually come back and uh, highlight them a little bit more put another drop on top of them so I don't, I don't know what that represents other than just a little color ball now I pulled it out the tape and you can see that it's starting to uh, bloom and run down to the bottom of the paper it's easy to overdo it this is the part where it's kind of fun you can it has no meaning whatsoever uh, but you can play with your colors and see what they do as they uh, you put them side by side coming through with a little bit of red to give it uh, just a couple, a couple lines in there and you could 
do anything that you want and now I'm going to come back and darken those just a little bit. It's a little bit drier than it was initially. The old children's books are uh, done, uh, especially in the 18, late 1800s, uh, early 20s, up to about 1920, 1930, were done with a pen and ink style. So they would sketch in and then uh, come over and do just little light washes with watercolor. And you can see this is whimsical, has uh, no meaning whatsoever with the exception of some people that like them, like hedgehogs, uh, would pick this up as a little hedgehog print. So not necessary, but you can if you want to add just a little bit more color to it, you can splatter. And in this case, I'm, I'm just doing little red, yellow, blue, green. This, you, this would probably be a good technique if you wanted to do some salt in the background. But one of the intents is to show you that uh, you don't have to paint the entire card. And the next one I'm going to show you uh, a little uh, lake scene that I do that uh, has only certain portions of it painted. And you can see I came in there with a the hairdryer and uh, let that dry a little bit. I didn't uh, bother you with uh, but you can dry these with a the hairdryer. Always sign your work. Here's the fun part. It's dry. Poof, there's a card. And uh, I didn't mention it, but I, I didn't wasn't paying attention again. And there is a, a little bit of sunlight coming through the um, window behind the shade there. And there's a couple of them. And you can see the one that's packaged up down below, ready to go, with more uh, muted colors in it, if that makes sense. And the ball on the right-hand side. And obviously he's a little bit larger. But here's the one that we demoed today. He's smaller. Each of these comes out a little bit different. A lot of times I'll save one uh, that I particularly like and uh, keep that one for a reference. And then uh, as I paint more down the line, I might not paint this guy for a year or two. And then uh, going through the, the drawer of, of ones that I've saved. And I do put them in the, in the protectors, the acid-free protectors, to save them. Uh, so I have them as a reference. So if you like this, comment, leave a comment. Subscribe by all means. And uh, thanks for watching this. Ben Ben with Stuart on the Lake. And go over and check out the Wood Carving Channel if you haven't.